Hello world. We are now at the Fab12 conference in Shenzhen, China, where in the last three days we have been fabricating this machine from scratch using a system that we have developed in our Fab Lab, where we are researching how can you create machines with maximum freedom. Uh, what we have here are linear axes and drive system that's been fabricated in the Fab Lab here in Shenzhen. Uh, traditionally, when you see DIY self-fabricated machines, you see that people source the linear guides and they source the drive systems and they source the bushings and then they fabricate the casing and the rest of the machine around it. So what we, but this gives restrictions, it restrictions in lead time but also restrictions in, in direction. Is it going to be straight? Is it going to be curvy? Is it going to be big? Is it going to be small? So. By being able to CNC mail this ourselves using a large format CNC router and custom G code, we can create uh, machines ourselves. And actually, you don't have to use this you know, custom G code system, but it makes it much easier because it's parametric, which means you set the material thickness of your, your, the material you have and you tell what size screws you have and stepper motor, and the system generates automatically for you the shape. But not only the shape, but also the G-code itself for the machine to cut. So, one of the first things we cut was this little gear. in Because that's fairly symbolic, because this way we show how it's potentially possible for the machine to self-replicate, to make its own parts. And of course, in the future, we wanted to be able to make new accesses for new machines. So, right now we're making a cube, so I'm going to start the job. If you go closer over here, you can see we are actually generating in our code program the real time the the, the G code. So you can see we selected this geometry. We say we want to cut it, and we have here on the interface we have what type of bits, uh, what material, what bits, uh, what type of geometry, and the specific depths. And now we just press start job, and we have to start the spindle. So, on our way to our first dice in Shenzhen. <laughs> So this project is all open source, uh, everything we've done. But we built it in Grasshopper, so both the parametric model and the G-codes generated in Grasshopper for Rhino. This software is not open source, so if you have a license, you can download and use it to contribute or go to your local Fab Lab, they probably have Rhino on their computers. If you have an idea how we can improve this, please you know, contribute and help, download and commit to our GitHub repo. And if you have an idea how can we make this system work, also fully parametric without Rhino and Grasshopper in 100% open source. We'd be very happy if you would like to help us. So, and if you make a machine yourself, please send us a picture or a video and tag it, tag it you know, with VBird. And we'll see you on the internet.